I want I want you guys to change your attitude because each of you even times have said, oh, we'll never take the test. We're just here to learn. We'll never be able to learn years away. Yes. And guys, this is just like an athletic pursuit. This is just like if you want to be a tennis player. This is just like if you want to take a test in college or in high school or in junior high. If you really feel that way, then I have failed you as your teacher. Don't make me be a failure. <laughs> Let's... Let's feel amongst each other that, you know, Radhika and I have talked, I'm not sure that this year is Milo's year, but Radhika's had Milo less than a year. Okay? So, so Radhika has a very realistic and wonderful reason for being here. But for the rest of you guys, you've had your dogs since they were puppies, and we've been working together since they were puppies, and I think you're ready now. For goodness sake. So, by all means, don't make the mistake that I made of having so much hubris you passed the test because you're an egomaniac. And you failed the test because you're arrogant, like I did. But go into it with confidence because I'm telling you right now, each of you, you're ready to take the test now. Let me tell you, I just watching, I, I recruit dogs all the time. That was great, Michael. Thank you. I, I, been, I recruit dogs off the sidewalk all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm constantly stopping people. Go, I, a dog in a store, I'll sign them up. Um, because I'm seeing, my dog doesn't do this very well. Doesn't hang out like this. Your dogs are hanging out while someone's talking, they're bored, they're dealing with it. Um, you, and the other thing is, I have had therapy dogs that are really in a coma and they pass no matter what, you know? But <laughs> dogs can have behavior. Their dog, they have two little golden beetles that are like this during the evaluation, but they pass. They make it through. You don't have to be in a coma. So, um, I'm going to do it as if it's totally real. Please do. So, Bob, you want to walk in this door, and I'll ask you for your paperwork and all that stuff. Thank you. See, the other thing is we give you time to, I'll show you. We give you time to sniff the room. Oh, okay. um, you don't just walk in and get hit, so. All righties. How do you want me to handle the, if he were to flunk in the middle, but just, we'll just redo them. Yeah, well, maybe you just mentioned, okay, so this is a point we need to work on, okay. but we'll just proceed. But so that we can get through the test. Yeah, let's get through the test, yeah. Hi, Bob. Come on in. Nice. Are you Bob? Yes, I am. Hi. Good. Nice Great. Now, I won't pet him yet, but he's a beauty. Can I, uh, I'll ask you for your paperwork, and then make sure you have your brush and everything. Wow, good job. Thank you. So I'll be just be checking your questionnaire, make sure you have it, and you need your rabies. And you need these two policies signed, which you do, da da da. Um, and so feel free to sniff the room a little bit if you'd like. Okay. Um, there's been some other dogs in here. It's a pretty good huh? Gorgeous dog. And usually I'll have an X for a home base. Um, so let's call. Yeah, and, and there's never other dogs in the room. So this is a little tricky. So let's move this about. Let's do it on this side of the room. The neutral dog is never hanging out. Let's, let's just do it on this side of the cones. Um, so, Bob, I'm going to use this mark as home base. Whenever you feel ready, this is what we'll that. Whenever you feel ready or in between exercises, I'll say feel free to go to home base and relax. That's what that means. Um, so, you can let me know whenever you feel ready to start. running towards you that someone isn't taking care of, you are going to be supporting your dog through everything. Uh, so yes, talk about as much as you want to. 
and also to calm them down. You'll see at the test, we, we escalate the stress a little bit throughout the test. So you'll want to support your dog. Right there. Okay. Oh, hi. Are you Bob? Yes, I am. I'm Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And who's this? Uh, this is Fritz. Hi. Can I have Fritz? Oh, please do. So the first exercise, I meet Fritz. I'm going to walk, nice buddy. I'm going to walk around behind you. I'm going to check for basic grooming because the dog needs to be groomed for the about. Um, so if it's pouring rain, you're going to want to get a towel to wipe them off. Now can I tell him to sit? You can do anything that you feel you would do to have him do great. And then I'm going to just check you out. A little later, I get a little more intrusive. But right now, I just want to make sure you're clean. Yes, and we're not going to do a lot of licking, but that's okay. And he's. He looks like he's had a lovely bath. Thank you. And does he like to be brushed? He loves to be brushed. Did you bring one? I did not bring Well, yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> you better. <laughs> All right, and then I pretend I brush him. Good boy. That's a good boy. I give this back to you, and I say thank you. Okay. So feel free to just relax his own face, and then I go over here and explore. All right. Are you ready for the next? Next exercise is called Out for a Walk. And um, I just want you to do. Stay on this side just so we don't get into dogs, but walk the parameter of the room as if you were, hang on a minute, Bob. Wait one sec, Bob, wait one sec. And that's the other thing, people don't, people stop listening because they get nervous. Like, you're probably even nervous now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll say, wait one sec, wait one sec, and people will just be charging off you. Yeah. Um, what, what we're looking for is how you would walk in a facility with your dog. So we want um, him a, a relatively loose leash as opposed to, you know, like a police dog. Um, and I'm going to ask you to stop twice. All right? Okay, so feel free to just do the perimeter of the room. Good boy. Good. And stop, please. Stop. He's got to scratch. Okay, and proceed. So you're instilling confidence in the patients around you and the administration around you. Very good. Excellent. All righty, back to home base. Good job. Now the next one, is it reaction to distractions? Um, walk through crowd. Oh, walk through crowd. So for this one, I need um, three volunteers. I'm going to put Rudy away. Rudy with me. Over here, Great right. name for him. Thank you. I Come love on. that name. Good job. Good boy. Whoever doesn't, I can use two and okay. can use two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this one's called walking through a crowd. So Bob, um, when I nod to you, ask if you're walking to the sink. We're gonna just simulate a busy hallway, but you don't need to enter. So this is really simple. I'm gonna cut close behind you. You guys just kind of cut in front of me. And I probably would have had him back up, but we'll just do it. Just and so. during the test, you had somebody drop something. Like that's that. next. Oh, that's okay. okay. That's Hey, good memory. All right, so Bob, go ahead and walk. So this is just a busy hallway. Oh, busy. oh sorry, pardon me. All right, and you can wait on that end now, Bob. Thank you, good job. Good job. Good boy. And uh, we're going to have volunteers for a minute. Except, actually, I need one. Michael. He's Gordon. Okay, this one's called Reaction to Distraction. So if you want to get by the wheelchair please, I'll tell you what to do. And uh, all right, so Bob, this one, this one is reaction to distraction. So when I ask you to walk, walk as if you're going to that door. And in front of you, a wheelchair will pass in front of you, not too close, maybe 10 feet. And um, after you pass me, I'm going to make a loud noise. And the idea is that your dog can react, but he recovers. I've got those wheels locked, Gordon. If you can. Uh, oh. <laughs> or the walker is fine, too. Sit down. Very good. Cool. That's a good boy. Good boy. All righty. You can just push that little chair so that you see that it pops in front of him. There you go. He's checking it out, but it's fine. And then... Well, that was 
center at a nursing home and lab jumped on top of the pool table during the loud noise. So oh, oh, that was a little funny. Good job. Thank you. Um, okay, and I think we have neutral. Um, so that was reaction discussion. Mm -hmm. Sit on command and down on command. Oh, we have all the commands now. All right. So whenever you feel ready, um, Bob, if you want to bring your dog to a up. Um, and we're going to demonstrate an SIT. You can use whatever words you use. If you don't, you know. Um, whoops. And we're going to need to demonstrate a DOWN versus him just doing it. So um, if you can demonstrate, you demonstrated the sit. But did you say down to him? No. Okay. Sit. And they're like, why are you making me? <laughs> Good job. Okay, now for this one. This is something you guys really want to practice. If this is the first time they see this, you're going to be in big trouble. Um, especially with littler dogs, they think that you're pulling them when you're not in this big dog thing. So, this is where at least 50% of the people drop their leash um, and don't have their dog under control. So I'll say to you, so Bob, for this, um, these two exercises, we're going to use this lead. So would you please exchange the leashes with your dog under control? down to this end on this side of the cones and then Marilyn will you give us very specific instructions about what you want because we as a group are unsure yeah and I include myself in this and it has a little bit of okay so Bob I'm going to be back you up all the way over here and they've seen each other all day so it's not like woo you know? and you can wait at this end thank you So now, um, this is called neutral dog. You want them on opposite sides, so you get to pick which side you'd like to have him uh, heal. The side, so then we need the neutral dog on the opposite side. And um, when you feel ready, when you feel ready, you guys can signal each other, go, wait a minute. The idea of the pace is only about 10 seconds, but the pace is like this. Oh, hi, nice to see you. And 
keep going. You can shake hands if you want. If your dog is, if you're nervous about it, you can actually put your dog in a sit, but that's just for folks that are really nervous about getting through this. Um, if the neutral dog screws up, it's not your fault. So we'll just pretend that he doesn't if he does. And we're looking for you to be um, cueing your dog as soon as you know what's going on. And uh, he cannot cross in front of you or behind you. Let's just give us one second here. He's a regular leash for this. Just remember, I'm going to do it like this. Do I get to be weird? <laughs> you want to be weird? Just yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be weird. I also have crutches. I'll... Yeah, well, we'll just do this. Okay, yeah, great. You're right. Um, okay, I'm, I'll be the, I'll show you the level of the weird uh, sure. person, so I'll do that. I thought what you want. <laughs> All right, so if you guys just wait the wings for a minute, please, volunteers. Um, again, for this one, I think I begin where I, I come out and greet you. And then I do a more intrusive exam as far as ears, teeth, toenails. And then I escalate it a little bit to, I, I become a, a bit off. And, uh, you, and as if I'm a, a little bit off as a patient. And I saw make some funny noises and I'm gonna go in for a quick restraining hug. Few seconds long, and that's to symbolize a you know you have a client, you're a patient, you're talking to somebody, and suddenly they get a little bit bizarre, and they hug your dog without you even knowing they're going to. So you support him, however you oh. would do that. Now I do this differently now because after 10 years of evaluating, I actually got bit doing this by a Rottweiler oh. a few months ago. Sure. So I so I think what you I think you saw one of those avows where. The dog was clearly not going to be hugged, and um, I didn't push it, and so we we ended the about. Um, oh, is there a cookie there? Pardon? Is there a treat you see? Uh, he, he's always looking for the treat. So he the cone, huh? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so are you ready? Yes, but if he had done that during the test, would would uh, would that be okay? Uh, uh, we didn't really do much. You put him back under control. Oh, okay. I mean, when I go to the hospital, I, I learned that if there's a lunch tray around, I'm kind of screwed. So I have to, I don't go during lunch. Um, I have to o control him a little overly controlled about garbage cans, things like that. Um, so. May I add a little something here? Yeah. What we just saw so far is very similar to the CDC test. Mm -hmm. What's about to happen is completely different from oh, the CDC yeah. test. Yeah, none of this. We let it do any time the role play stuff? Only the grooming part oh, that you oh, already yeah. did. Yeah, this but is what I was going to say was, is on the CGC test, if the dog does what Fritz just did, and you handle it that way, we would make nothing of it. It would be no problem. It wouldn't be something to discuss. But if you yell at your dog, hit your dog, or, or if you're inappropriate, you're done. Right. So these things happen. They're dogs. Yeah. And the expectation here is not that they are miraculous. 
or obedience yeah. champions. Mm -hmm. The expectation is, is that whatever happens, that we bring comfort to the area that we're in. And if we overreact, it's done. Great. So I thought mm -hmm. you handled it perfectly. Right. And right. Fritz did nothing. Right. What I saw was Fritz looking at me so sleepy. I don't think it was a treat, but it doesn't really matter what he's looking at. He was interested in something he, he got. Told, up, um, he put him down. It was still, no problem. That's so a really good point. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. Matter of fact, as soon as you pull up into the driveway for the Naval, if you if you pull up and we see you in the driveway, kick your dog, the Naval's over. As soon as you show up on what site, what is it? Oh, let him on. Let him oh, check it out. We, we let him just all take all a second. Just let him eat it or whatever he wants to do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, okay. it's a little spy. Just oh, he's so funny. Wow. <laughs> well, why don't you eat the spy? Yeah. You can move him over, Bob. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, like, sometimes when I'm getting out of my car at the hospital, I'm so far away from the hospital that, um, but I realize I can't, I can't just let him jump out and then go leash him. Yeah. They want, you're working as soon as you're on site. So, um, and that makes sense. Okay, so we're starting the second half. I mean, we already started the show. I'm going to um, meet you, and again, and I'm going to uh, check out his grooming. I'm going to get a little more intrusive. I'm going to become a little more off, and then I'm going to hug him. So you, you can always be down on the floor with your dog. You can do whatever you need to do. You ready? Oh, hey, Bob. Hi, how are, how are you? you? Oh, this is Fritz, right? This is Fritz, yes. Can I have you? Oh, please. Fritz. you the level of stress. So another volunteer would do this. Um, so Bob, for this, this one, I'm going to, usually it's a back rope and we flap it like you're, you know, you're that guy I right down the hall. With the, the guy? I was, all right. All right. All right. No, no <laughs> you're that guy with the crumbs in his lap. And, um, uh, but I'm also a little, yeah, who's, I'm also off. I'm either off for because I'm off or yeah. whatever. Um, so, Bob, I'm going to enter your space. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop by 10 feet of you, though. I'm not going to run up on you. And so, however, uh, you want to handle me, or then I'm going to ask to cut you off. Okay, so you ready? Yes, please. Okay. So, I'm going to come. This is my bathroom, supposedly. Oh, I love dogs! Oh! Is it that you know? Oh, yes, please, oh, please do. Oh, yeah, good. He's, he's, a, he's a very friendly dog. Good. He loves to meet people. And you might support him a little more, like it's okay. It's okay. He's looking at me a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good. And, and you don't want to go over. I'm oh. sorry. I'm giving you a wrong message. I think um, one thing you did at the very first 
about, do you mind me saying? Please. Do you mind? No. And I just gave you that cue, which I should, is because your job is so big. <laughs> Michael said in his first vow a couple of times, and I, and I whispered to him, uh, you want instill confidence. He said to, to the client, do you mind me saying this? No, he's please do. In fact, I told the story before okay. I wanted to tell again. Where he said to the client, now he's a dog, so I want you to, you know, stand quiet. And, and it made me feel like, ooh. You know, am I in danger here? Um, so I should have given you the cue of... In oh, advocating for my dog, I gave mm -hmm. off the energy that my dog was Unsafe. somebody to be afraid of. Yeah. Right. So... You were perfect. I just was saying... Well, I, was, I was advocating for Iggy in the way that I still do for Rudy, but Iggy didn't need it. Iggy didn't need it. That's for sure. Yes. Uh, so, and then I pet your dog, but I'm just saying, yes, you just let him know I'm okay. Because yeah. I am going to come in like this. Okay. And what I would add, Bob, is that I think that one thing would be helpful is have a loose leash. Your leash is tight half yeah. that time, and then you tighten it again. Yeah. Give the dog the whole leash. If he get, he's allowed to get up, yeah. and if he's not, if he's not allowed to get up and get down there with him, but don't hold him off. Okay. Good job. All right. We're almost done. The next one is called angry yelling. <laughs> so I need yes. um. Are these the breaks? Yeah. I need the, what this looks like. Do you want, you want to do this? Thing? Sure, I love being in Do you want to push? I'm sorry, John? Gordon. Do you want to push Gordon? Sure. Um, I'll be over here Valley. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you how loud to be. Um, these, these guys are going to, wait a minute. These guys, these guys are going to meander like this way. All right. And they're having an argument. He doesn't want to go to bingo. You want to go to bingo. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to be, it's going to be loud. I mean, not freaky. That's what I usually do is argue with guys in wheelchairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, okay, let's keep the dogs out of it. Okay. Um, so you're going to be under this way so you're not coming right at them. Yep. And then you're going to pull around here, you're going to stop about 10 feet, and you're going to want to see the dog. So you have a couple of people that are in an argument. Mm -hmm. So you can say, oh, it's not a good time, or sure you can. Um, so you guys go ahead. I think that A, B, plus C, no. B is the way to go. What, what do you mean? No. no I don't want to go. Not a lot of argument. No, 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 no. The window is the best thing in the world. Hey, who knows my name? Now you want to see the dog. Hey, you want to see the dog? You want to see the dog? That's fine. What do we got in Okay. Um, so, Bob, we're going to, all three of us, 
And if you're ever in middle school when the bell rings and you're doing it, <laughs> it's a hundred kids. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we're gonna all three want to see a job. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be high. Um, one of you can be low, and the other one lean over. So it's like we're all kind of on. You. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a bump from behind. Yeah. Remember so, we talked about the bump uh, test yeah. in the first day of class. Yeah. How oh, this makes me. Yeah, you don't like it. They never even notice I do it. It's like. Yeah. Okay. You also saw me do it to my dog. Yeah. 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 We practice it. So are you ready? ready? So we all want to see him. So should I have him up walking? What a, yeah, it's fine. But keep your leash loose, Bob. Don't pull on him. Well, okay. you, don't, yeah, but you don't want to be out of your feet. So, okay. Okay, Bridge, come on, let's go. Oh, it's so oh, oh, we all want to see him. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 what a cute oh, oh, Bob, one thing you're not, you wouldn't get up to a high score on interacting with us. Oh, I should be calling Well, oh, you see, you were talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, I think it's, it's hard for me to get anything in here. Yeah. All three of you were talking at the same but time. But this is going to happen, and you, okay. need to, you need to protect your dog. So you okay. might have said, oh, great, can we, can we um, just lower our voices a little? And, we just, and of course, okay. it's hard to interrupt. And it may not be like this, but it could very well be right. 10 people. And you're going to want to manage the crowd. And you're there to give them comfort. Yeah. So you're, I know you're, you're concerned, you're protecting your dog, which is what we keep telling you to do. But you're there to interact with people. Okay. So we're all patients, or we're all administrators. So the third time I took the test, <laughs> I went in knowing what to say. And this is what I said, it was well received. I love you guys, let's take turns. <laughs> and people can hear that. People can hear, let's take turns. Mm -hmm. That's not rude. Right? Little kids learn, let's take turns. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing to say, yeah. in my experience. Or but even just good morning. Oh, he doesn't mind all this energy. You know, how yeah, do you do it? You guys are a little loud. So I, just, I need to say something. You need to. Right? Yeah, yeah we're, we, you're there to visit us. Yeah. And you've told us we can pay. So. Um, <clears throat> Okay, and the next, you're only two away, and um, the next one is leave it. Is that where we are? I think so. Yep, leave it. And so I won't squeak a ball, because too many labs. <laughs> Thank you. We did that with my golden. Gosh, I was ticked. I just did the squeak. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to put this here. Good job. And so the idea is that you can get by this if this is a gross hypodermic needle or a sandwich or a bladder bag or whatever it is. <laughs> um, so you just put it a few feet on either side. And whatever words you need to use. And you can touch your dog. Leave it. 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 Um, you're not telling me what to do. Okay. Okay. The boy, though, that's pretty oh, All right. Um, what should I say? Well, you stood there. Okay. Same leave, 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 leave it. Um, you I should continue to walk. Keep, yeah. You're, if it's a hypodermic needle, would you let him go yeah. sniff it and say <laughs> yeah? Or if it's a turkey sandwich that's four days old in the corner. Um, so you're going to go, oh, I don't want him to have that. Typically, you go, come on, leave it. So you can put him on the, you know, you can, not the other side as a test, but okay, you don't, so you don't, don't want to sit around. I don't have to too much. He can stop and sniff it, but why? Yeah. Is this okay, press the other loose here? lead or just get your dog by it? No, I mean, the only, loose lead is Let's nice, see, but the only thing we don't want it. is this. You can have a short leash. Yeah. Okay. So, um, can I try again? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, the dog has to be on the side of the toy. Oh, okay. Okay, there's no mess up. You can tuck your dog. I mean, you can, yeah. Right. I mean, you have a little bit too loose. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, why give him five feet if you don't want to take a hypodermic needle? That's true. So, um, perfect. That's great. Okay, and the last one is uh, take a treat. So if you're also supposed to bring a treat, or I would have one. You can turn me down if you don't want to have a treat. Um, let's do it like we would. Okay. okay so, so Bob, you're, this is the last one, and it's just uh, take a treat. Did you bring a treat with you? Yes, I can. Can I give him one? Okay. Um, so now, this one you will hug if you don't tell me what to do. I might get my hands out. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about the office, and I have a treat.
street. Now, jumping up like that would be an automatic failure. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the first 12 exercises on the skills part, you can't flunk one of those. On the second part, all this aptitude part, you're actually allowed to get a two not raise. The test goes, you get a two if it's excellent, a one if it's passable, an NR if you're not ready, and an NA if it's not appropriate at all. And you can't get any NAs. Okay, you can get two not readies, I don't know why, on the second part, um, and still pass, which is weird. Mm -hmm. But the first 12, the sit down and have stay and all that stuff, you can't get anything lower than a one. So jumping on me wouldn't fly, but if you didn't tell me appropriately what to do, you well, wouldn't fuck the whole test. Uh, I, uh, I think that probably you can give him the treat any way you want to, as oh. long as it's with one hand. All right. Okay. Great. Would you like this? The idea is that you're just instructing someone so that they, you know, they, you know. Thank you. And you pass the test.